upload your clip art front that you've purchased or that you have on your desktop that you want to bring into Silhouette Studio to work on. You open up your Silhouette Studio, you click on File, go down to Import, Import the Library. It's going to ask you where do you want to import it from. I have most of my clip art on my desktop and then I just scroll down to who I want to import. Let's do, I don't have a baby blue yet. And you click on the clip art. As you saw down below, there was a um, screen that said 0 to 100%, and it's completely loaded in now. And if I go to the library, which is, is the library button, go to the library, and there is my baby poo, which happens to be Eeyore, that has loaded into my silhouette. If I want to work on Eeyore right now, I double click on it, and it loads into the page that I'm working on. As you can see, it's really little, so I'm going to drag it out. Now, you know any clip art that you bring in to Silhouette will automatically usually have the square around it, the transparent background. So I'm going to show you if you click on this little pin up in the right hand corner and then you put cut the edge, you can see there's a box around it. So you want to get rid of that box so it cuts around Eeyore. In order to do that, I'm going to bring it over to the side. You click, go up to the top and there's this yellow and green square that's a trace. And you click on that, you see trace popped up, you click trace, select trace area, click on that, and then now you see my arrows turn into a plus sign when I'm over on Eeyore. You want to click in one of the corners and drag it over Eeyore. And as you can see, he starts to highlight in yellow. I want to come back over to my trace panel. I'm going to unclick the high pass filter. And then I'm going to come down here to threshold. And I'm going to raise the threshold until Eeyore is completely yellow. That looks pretty good. I am going to use, these are apply trace method, methods up here in these boxes. There's a trace, trace outer edge, and a trace and detach. Um, there's not really an area where I want a cutout to be on Eeyore. So I'm going to do a trace and detach to get rid of that background. Okay, there he is back in color. So I bring him over here back onto the mat and if I go up to the right again and click on this pin and click on it so I can show you what the cut line is going to be now now you can see the red is where it's going to cut out 